the, you know, the, the, the psychologist, you know, she, because I'm always like, so happy-go-lucky and all this kind of stuff, and not really figuring out, you know, because I was always a helper. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to help this person, I'm going to help that yeah. person, I'm going to help this person, I'm going to help that person, I'm going to help. And one time I was like, basically talking to a friend of mine, which I loved and I would do anything for. And she was talking, talking. The only time I could talk was when she took a breath. To, to, you know, she would stop talking for a while. And so one time I said, like, you know what? I, yeah, I had my arm cut off the other day. And she said, yeah, girl. Uh. I said, okay. Yeah. She's not listening to the word I'm saying. So yeah. I have to, like, we get that kind of wrong. But anyway, getting back to Northwestern um, and the psychologist here, because I was like, I don't know what's bothering me. Why do I do all this stuff? And so then she told me, she said, Rosemary, she said, you are so energetic, but I want you to take two sheets of paper. And she said, on this piece of paper, I want you to write down all the reasons why you want to lose weight. Wow. And she said, and on this piece of paper, I want you to write down all the reasons you don't. I'm saying, listen to this idiot. Why am I here if I don't want to lose weight? But she said, but it's only going to work if you're honest with yourself. You got to be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. So I went home and I thought about it. And on this sheet of paper, I wrote down the reasons why I wanted to lose weight. On this sheet of paper, I had two sheets of paper filled up with the reasons why I did not. Mm -hmm. Did not. Mind you, some of them were the same reasons that I wanted to lose weight, mm -hmm. but this one outweighed everything. Because number one, I found out it was weight was a security blanket. Mm -hmm. Because I knew that if I stayed this size, nobody would look at me. Or they looked at me and said, why don't you lose some weight? Okay? So we have to get, you have fears all over the place. Mm -hmm. So we have to say, what are we going to do to get rid of those fears so we can move our lives to the next level? So we can have like really bring out the greatness that we are. So we put on all these blankets, and this blanket can be, it can be weight, yeah. it can be alcohol, it can be drugs, it can be stuff. That's why we feel so uncomfortable when somebody says, "Can you put your bag in the other room?" I can't put my bag in the other room. She's not talking about you. <laughs> I swear, everybody. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get that out. <laughs> We need to be, understand that this stuff is just temporary things. And we need to get it out. So getting it back to your drawing, we're going to have everybody talk about their drawing and what needs to come out and what needs to be replaced. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Are you feeling me? Yeah. Yes. yes. So honesty is the only way to go. Because number one, we're afraid of our greatness, so we don't want to be great, so we stay back. Oh. And then we we'll talk to our friends and say, I'm a girl, you can't do that. <laughs> you don't know my greatness. You know your greatness, but you don't know my greatness. So therefore, I'm not listening to you anymore. When I say on your house, you should say, stay away on your door, then that's what I'm serious about. <clears throat> really. So... How you come with your house? Well, you don't want anybody coming, right? You don't know about fun this way. <laughs> <laughs> they got to claw, claw through the window to get to you, a chimney. You got a chimney up there. <laughs> Seriously. So I just want you to be honest. And if you, even if you write it down, and you don't want to share with us mm -hmm. because you're that private, that's okay. Cause that's your life. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking at anybody. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying to you that when you leave here today, this is the beginning of you changing your life. Because that's what a lifestyle coach does. What they do is work with you and bring out the positive things in your life that you need to practice. And let the negative things go. Understand me? Yes. Okay. Now who's ready to talk about that house? Well, I'm not going to be sitting here talking about